Morning, I became different. Choices on choices, on options on options. So strong, I can throw cards like the game winning pitch. A plate ticket. Just got done eating at Zip's Diner. Uh, bellies are full, so uh, <laughs> I'm not ready to rip now. Gonna go uh, get some parts from a Honda shop. From some shop, I don't know, some gaskets or something that we need. So, uh, yeah, we're off. Medicine away from the house wise and get the pain pills back to the pain stricken. I rebuild the city soon. Just got some Motorsports Nation. They, uh, we called them a little earlier to see if they had some seals for us. They did in stock, which was pretty cool. So, snag these little guys and we'll get back to the wizard's house and get old girl buttoned up. The other side is a crooked account. The last product of a planet that they could have pronounced. He was a super role model that they used to hold on to when they just ain't no smoke cushion. Thursday. We uh, got the parts from Honda. We were posted up at the wizard's house. So uh, Drew and um, the wizard got that bike dialed, got uh, all the parts and threw the motor back together and uh, put some graphics on. Yeah, we got out of there at like, I don't know, was it like eight? So we were there for a solid like four and a half, five hours of bike work. Work hard, man, you know, it doesn't come easy. The effort you put into it, it's going to be you get out of it. If you lose the passion to do it, and you go, I really want to do this today, you're like, you're doing the wrong thing. You're trying to move on. That's what's been cool about this. This whole thing is like number one priority to have fun at, at the new places that we've gone to, and that's what's been so cool. So we've just we've had fun. Like we've had times where we didn't worry about doing motos and training. It was just let's just go ride. Let's go ride trays. We're just gonna go ride, and then we end up doing motos and stuff. Yeah, and it's gonna be that way no matter what you do in life. Don't you know, remember? If you're not having fun doing it, you're doing the wrong thing. I listen to these people all the time, like, you're doing the wrong thing, you're bitching every day, why do you want to get out of bed? Man, I want to get out of bed and go do this. You know, just... you're doing the wrong thing, you gotta switch. Friday, we uh, went to Rashad's, and uh, that was kind of just a hit, hit or miss type of deal. We just kind of showed up, and uh, old man there hooked it up. I said it in the south for something I didn't do. Around it, it's turning around. The place is cool. It's be a it was sick. It, uh, it had rained a bunch, so the track was mint. It was super sandy, super deep, so it was uh, it was bitching. I mean, I haven't ridden a sand track like that before. It was, it was gnarly. So first day back on the bike in like three weeks. So. It was kind of rough, not the, not the easiest track to go ride at. I was pretty excited to, to watch the bike go somewhere instead of in and out of the trailer. So that was cool. He went and motoed and said the bike was a lot better. So that's two thumbs up in my category for sure. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Yeah, this trip has actually gone a lot better than I think any of us had anticipated so far. Dalton's riding way better. Um, we haven't completely pissed each other off to the point where we've just laid each other out. Like, we've, it's been sick. We've met a lot of people and I, I don't, it's exceeded all of my expectations for, for what we had planned out. It's, it's been really cool. Steve, the wizard, yeah, he's not just a gnarly mechanic. He, uh, I guess you could say, gave gave us a little bit of a li life lesson in a sense. Yeah, no, just told me to uh, keep the love for the sport and the passion. And you know, if you don't have that passion, 
to get up and, and do what you love every day, then you're not going to want to do it. It was a successful day. Track was sick. It was cool to see Dalton finally ride in three weeks. So I'd say all, we got no complaints. See, he's making dirt bike noises again. That's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do today. I, I was, we we're talking about going and hitting some balls, but I'm kind of losing my mojo. Um, I'm bogging. We're gonna probably cruise out of here, head up to Maine, go say what up to Danny Stu, check out his little moto paradise. Pretty curious to see what what the D Stu's life's all about.